One last thing I want to share with you. This this year of 5784 that we're coming into, this Rosh Hashanah year 5784 is known as the year of the open door. And I promised you at the top of this video, I would share with you what God is speaking to me about the door he most wants to open in 5784, the year of the open door. Now, I've heard some great teachings and I think it's good. I think it's spot on that God wants to open doors of blessing, doors of revelation. He wants to open all these different amazing doors. He wants to open the door of heaven and pour out blessings and benefits that we cannot contain. I also believe, though, what the Lord has spoken to me is while he's absolutely going to do that, one of the reasons he's going to do that is because of the door he most wants to open in the year 5784. That door is you. He wants you to be his open door of heaven into the earth. Look at this scripture. We've talked about Matthew 16 before, but in the context of the year of the open door and how you are the door God wants to open wide in 5784, catch this. We all know the context here in Matthew 16. Jesus is walking with the disciples and he says, who does the world say that I am? And they say, some say you're Elijah, some say you're Jeremiah, some say you're this prophet, some say you're this, you're that. And you'll notice he gives no heed to it. He's not being rude. He's not tuning them out. He's not ignoring them. He's mentoring them. He's discipling them in how to not give heed to the report of the world. Not ignore it, but don't give heed to it. And then he says, Simon or Jonah, who, or Simon, who do you say that I am? And he says, you are the Christ. And he says, well done, Simon Bar Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father in heaven. And upon this rock, I shall build my church. Now, obviously, he means on the revelation that he is the Christ, that he is Messiah, that he is our Savior. We have to have that. That's Christianity 101. But I think there's something else going on here as well. I think he's saying, because you look at the context, he's saying, when you learn not to give heed to the report of the world, don't, don't ignore it. But don't give heed to it. Don't let it affect you. Don't let what CNN or MSNBC or Fox News or OAN or, or whatever source of information is saying. Don't give heed to that. And don't give place to a reaction of your flesh in that. But listen to the voice of my Heavenly Father, the Word of the Lord. Because when you do, I'm going to build my church upon this. And the gates of hell, the strongholds of hell, will not prevail. He then goes on to say, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will have been loose from heaven. What's he saying? When you do this, and he's talking about in part this revelation and realization of the revival of prayer that he wants to give us, our ability to hear God above and beyond what the world is saying, hear God above and beyond what our flesh would react. And when we give place to that word of the Father and we come into agree with it, and what does Simon do? He declares it out loud. He's declaring and decreeing in agreement with the word. He's letting that word be put in his mouth, and then he's declaring it and decreeing it. The gates of hell cannot prevail. And when we operate in this, Jesus is saying we become the open door. And what has been loosed from heaven comes through us as an open door and is loosed into the earth. What has been bound in heaven which moves through us, and that authority is bound here in the earth. This is a huge part of the revival of prayer that Lord, Lord wants to release, that will hit the body, that we realize we are the door he wants to open so heaven can move through us into the earth, so heaven can bind hell through us in the earth. A huge part of that will be prayer, declarations, and decrees, like Jeremiah 1, like James, what was it, 5? I want to make sure I got that right. Yes, James 5. You are the door the Lord most wants to open in 57 84. So I pray a great, great grace upon you to receive and be a part of this revival of prayer that is coming in 5784. This realization, this revelation and realization that is renewed understanding of the power and authority we have through prayer and the ability we have to let the Lord put his word in our mouth. And as we decree it and declare it in our prayer times, that the things of the enemy will be plucked up, torn down. They will be absolutely destroyed and overthrown. And the things of God and of his kingdom will be established in our lives and through our lives here on 
earth. I declare a great grace for your door to be opened, for you as a door to be opened in 5784. A great grace for anywhere you're battle weary, anywhere your, your hinges are creaking. I ask Holy Spirit that you would right now oil those hinges and bring renewed life, renewed faith, renewed zeal, renewed hope, renewed expectation. Let the rustiness of this past season of despair, discouragement, frustration, irritation, let it all fall off. And Lord, let this fervent, effective prayer movement hit each and every one of us with fresh zeal, fresh hope, in fresh faith. And God, let us be doors that are wide open for heaven into the earth in 5784. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hey, ready for more? Go to roberthodgkin.com for more teachings, more resources, and more information about Robert Hodgkin Ministries and Men on the Front Lines.